Welcome back. All right, so we've installed our sound set. The next step is going to be creating what's known as a playback configuration. Uh, but we're not going to be opening the template file just yet. We're going to go ahead and cancel out of this quick start dialog, which should be pretty familiar to you if you've used Sibelius before. Then we're going to head on up to play and choose playback devices. Now this is a window that you're going to want to get pretty familiar with uh, as this is where you'll you'll set up a playback configuration to load in your VDL sounds uh, or wind sounds or band sounds, whatever you're wanting to load into your score. And there's a few main areas we'll want to focus on here. There's the configuration area, which is where you get to choose which playback configuration you want to use. Uh, Sibelius comes with a few loaded in. The MIDI, general MIDI, you probably won't use a whole lot, especially when you're using VDL. And there's a bit, the Sibelius sounds, which just uses the Essentials library, which is the sounds that ship with Sibelius. And over here we've got a few buttons that allow us to uh, interact with existing uh, configurations or create some new ones. Down here is the Available Devices area, which is all of the MIDI plugins and such that are available to Sibelius. Now you might have more or less depending on your system, but uh, these are the ones I've got. Contact Player 2 will be the one we'll want to focus on when we get to that. And the Active Devices area. This is all of the, the MIDI plugins and devices that are currently being used by Sibelius. So let's go ahead and move on forward and create our own. Now we can't actually do anything with the Sibelius Sounds plugin, uh, or configuration rather. Um, Sibelius doesn't let you uh, fool around with that one. So what we'll have to do to get started is click the new button up here uh, to create a new playback configuration. So first we'll want to give it a name. I typically like to name them based on the library I'm using to start out, so VDL. And then uh, the number of sounds we're going to load in is the next item I like to uh, I like to add on here, or the number of sounds that we're actually capable of loading. And remember there are 16 sounds per instance of Contact Player 2 when it's in plug-in mode. So let's just go ahead and start with that. 16 sounds. Click OK. So now we're currently working on our VDL 16 sounds plugin. Don't think we're going to need the Sibelius player for that, so let's go ahead and deactivate that. Then click Contact Player 2, Activate. So now our device is Contact Player 2, and currently the sound set that's loaded is the 6.0B sound set. So by default, uh, that's just what it loaded, because I think that was what I, I loaded prior to that. But it might load in 6.0, 6.0A. Uh, we're going to be using the 6.0B template, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now you'll notice here in the list of available sound sets, there's also this Virtual Drumline 2.5. That's one that actually ships with Sibelius that the fine folks at Sibelius created as kind of a limited, basic, bare-bones sound set for the uh, VDL sounds that actually ship with the Essentials library. It's not quite as robust as the ones that were created specifically for VDL. So for this one, we're going to choose the VDL sound set 6.0B. Um, that's pretty much ready to go. Let's go ahead and click Save. So now we've got that ready to go. But for the, the score I'm about to start on, I'm actually going to want to load probably more than 16 VDL sounds, and I'm also going to want to have a limited uh, wind selection to it. So let's say you're wanting to use um, band sounds in your score. Uh, rather than just go ahead starting to add more to it, let's go ahead and say New. We'll come in here. It adds the two in parentheses because essentially it's saying that I might be creating a duplicate sound configuration, or playback configuration. Let's go ahead and back on up. And I'm just going to go ahead and want two instances of Contact Player 2. So let's say 32 sounds, close parentheses, and we're going to use the essential sounds for um, our wind sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now I'm working on the VDL 32 sounds and essentials. Let's go ahead and add another Contact Player 2 instance. By default, it'll load the most recently used sound set. So there we go, 6.0B. Now let's add the Sibelius player back onto the score. 
Now notice up here that there's an asterisk uh, next to the name. That actually popped up after I added the next contact player to instance and that basically just means that this configuration has been changed in some way shape or form. So notice also here down in the Sibelius player uh, jumping back to that we've got the essentials sound set selected. I think we're good to go. Now I selected save and the asterisk went away because now it's kind of in its saved form. So if I was to come back and select the VDL 16 sounds it's going to go back to the one instance of Contact Player 2. And then VDL32 Sounds switches back over. Now you can create as many as you want here to your heart's content. Really just depends on how much memory you have and uh, I guess what your goals are. So if you have a score where you just have a massive amount of percussion, you might want to come in and you know add another instance. So that's basically it for this particular video. Next time, we'll actually start setting up our score and uh, adding instruments to the score so you can start writing some sweet beats. So we'll see you next time.